Last year, we've been bringing you stories of the trades in the segment called Critical Careers. This country really needs technical workers, but supply of qualified workers isn't meeting the demand. Older workers are retiring, and there aren't enough people filling the gaps for construction workers, plumbers, pipe fitters, truck drivers, electricians, the list goes on. So how do you fill these vital roles? How about educating them yourself? That's what many companies are now doing. They're training for the trades. There is this kind of higher education, and then there's this. Welcome to All Craft University. It's the beginning of a garage and the beginning of a career for these students at All Craft. We have six students in the class. The program launched in June is giving men and women a head start in the construction business. Eight weeks of training. It's very important to be out here. We're, and Dave Dieselin, the instructor, is out here with them, kind of guiding them as they, as they learn in, this, in the trade specifically. Paid for by Allcraft, a construction company that specializes in siding, windows, and roofing. Like a growing number of trade companies, Allcraft not only trains, but pays students while they learn. You know, if you went to a vocational school for training, you'd still be paying for the training. Allcraft is paying them to, to get the training. So this is a good opportunity to kind of get into that career field and, you know, hopefully get a job and, and do this for the next 20, 30 years. So. Educating future workers. Other trades are doing it as well, like plumbers and pipe fitters. Local Union 6 in Rochester offers an extensive paid apprenticeship program. Emily Ashworth used to be an elementary school teacher, taught for three years, but it wasn't the right career fit. I was pushed to go to college and pushed away from electives like welding and wood shop, and I wish that was something that I was pushed to do. Well, now she's enrolled in the apprenticeship program with a career that's taking her out of the classroom and into our nation's infrastructure. Another trade, HVAC, the essential workers who maintain our heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Emily Christie is Safety and Education Director with Tana Mechanical in Rochester. All right, so to, we're going to go over to the refrigeration cycle day. Her work to train new hires and put them on track to promising careers in the HVAC industry. You come into our program and get through the program and start making a wage right away while you're going through the program. This is a CNC lathe. CNC machining, electrical linemen, just some other trades that also train future employees. Five and a half. Okay. Meantime, back in an all-craft university work project, the hammers pound, the instructors coach. I'll give him a hand over here so it doesn't fall off. Soon, the structure will be complete, the siding, windows, and roof added. This is important for remodeling, so the guys that are going to be out doing those projects understand what's all involved in it. Eight weeks of paid training and then a career in construction with all craft. It's red hot right now. I mean, there's people that have four-year degrees and they won't make half what these people will make their first year on the, on the job, you know. As for Eric Gibson, it's the right career at the right time. No one cares more about your career than yourself. So no one's going to sit there and hold your hand. You got to go out there and get it, so. My conversation with Eric Gibson continues online. More on why he chose this career field and his advice for those uncertain about their career futures. You can find it under Critical Careers at uh, KTTC.com. Here's your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Nick Jackson.